Hi guys, welcome to the video. Uh, in this video, I'll be reviewing A.R. Rahman's latest song, Tumbi Tullal, from the upcoming movie Cobra, uh, starring Vikram. Uh, this song has been sung by Shreya Ghoshal and Nakul Abhyankar. Uh, and there are a couple of very special things about this video and this song. Uh, I'll get into it as I get into the review. But before anything, I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers. So if you like this video, please watch it till the very end. Uh, and also please share it with as many people as you can. Thank you. Let's get right into the review. I'll be doing this review in fairly two big chunks. One would be lyrics and singing. And the second part would be composition and music production. In this particular review, I'll have another small section because there are certain Easter eggs or some references hidden in the song, which I'll be letting you know. So let's start with lyrics. Lyrics are by Vivek. Uh, it's great to see a lyricist having so much versatility uh, that he can do those Vijay, Ajit Kana mass numbers uh, and then come and do this also. Uh, he has portrayed marriage and the relationship after marriage and before marriage beautifully in this song and the relationship between the groom and bride. There is also a small portion of the song which is in Malayalam uh, which I didn't understand much but I really enjoyed the rhythmic aspects of it. Now let's get to the singing. Nakul Abhyankar here has done a great job. Uh, I'm guessing that he is not a native Tamil speaker but he has done a fabulous job. You can't make out that he doesn't speak Tamil or maybe he does, I don't really know. If you know, please put that in the comment section down below. Uh, he's pitch perfect. Uh, he has a lot of expression in his voice and he does a great job. But uh, when you have Shreya Ghoshal in a song, it's meant to be her song, right? Now, what do you say about Shreya Ghoshal that hasn't already been said? Uh, she's practically music itself. Uh, it's almost like a union of art and the artist you can't separate one from the other and it's been almost 10 years and i'm still marveling at her tamil pronunciation and how clean it is and how much like a native speaker it is it is just absolutely brilliant and i'm nobody to uh, co comment on her singing skills or her expression or her flair or her uh, vocal culture just absolutely brilliant now let's move from one genius to other uh, so, of course, uh, this entire song has Rahman's stamp all over it. Uh, there are very few composers throughout the history of Indian film music who can take different elements, fuse them, literally fuse them, not use them together, but you really don't know which part is which and still don't make a mess of it and keep it really clean and smooth. Uh, and I think the king of that game is definitely a Rahman. Uh, so it's not a big deal for him, I guess, but for his fans, after all these years, we still feel like it's some musical alchemy. Uh, let's get into the details. One thing I really, really loved about the entire production is, as I've already mentioned, is the amalgamation of Western drums and percussion, Indian drums. I thought I heard a uh, tabal somewhere or even dholak if I'm not wrong. Uh, and the way the string orchestra, string section is underneath this beautiful, beautiful Carnatic kind of melody. So that's, that's nothing new for him. But here, uh, to add to that, you have these amazing harmonies and vocal arrangements, uh, which has been credited to Arun Chandi, I guess. And he does a great job. I think there are certain places where the harmonies are not only in a different key, uh, but also in a different octave and that adds so much beauty and so much energy to the song. Uh, also one very important thing I loved in this entire production was that uh, every time the song goes from one section to the other, uh, there are drum fills as usual, like many composers do it, everybody does it. But here I found, felt that each time it's a bit different. Uh, sometimes it comes on the uh, western drums uh, like a snare or a tom fill uh, sometimes you hear it on a tabla dhola kind of instrument or i think it was a tabla correct me if i'm wrong so it's it's so beautiful and seamless i had to really listen to it again and again to find out all these things but for an average listener it's just immersion into that soundscape and you don't really understand these details but you get the impact of it the whole whole impact of it just a beautiful beautiful song 
Now let's come to the surprise part of this video and of this song. There's a Nadeswaran piece in there. I was listening, I was mesmerized. At the end of that Nadeswaran interlude, I heard something very familiar. Uh, I heard some part or strains of a old, very old, uh, like Tyagaraja Swami uh, Kriti or composition called Jagananda Karaka. Uh, you might want to go rewind and check it out. Uh, you'll find it at the very end of the Nadaswaram interlude. I thought it was a great hat tip or a tribute to uh, the master, the legend, uh, almost revered as a god in uh, Carnatic music circles. I'm not a huge Carnatic music fan, but even somebody like me recognized it. Uh, and then I was reminded of this player that my dad used to listen to it. I couldn't get his name in my head. So I was just looking in the credits and I found his name there. It's another legend, Sheikh Chinna Maulana, and they have credited him uh, for using his improvisation, not even using it, basing it on his improvisation and creating the interlude. Uh, kudos to the entire team. Great effort. Really, really love that portion. So overall, a great, great song for music lovers. And after a long time, a really great original Carnatic kind of composition. Uh, in this age of remixes and rap and whatnot, this was such a breath of fresh air. Uh, thanks to the entire team for doing this. Uh, so that's it for the review. I uh, hope you liked the video. And if you want to tell me anything, please put it in the comment section down below. And I'll say it again. I'm trying to reach 100 subscribers. So if you like this video, please uh, leave a like, uh, put a comment and try and share it with as many people as you can. Thank you.